say you're playing plane crazy and you're just minding your own business all right in your little plane uh, and someone just slams into you with what appears to be a guided missile <laughs> and you are super confused and they explode and you are completely done for or let's just say you built a boat and you don't know what to put in it uh so this tutorial is for you it's for those people and it's for those people who just kind of want to be in a, you know get a guided missile and just want to mess around with it all right um, so this right here is a custom guided missile that I've made. Uh, it's somewhat similar to most guided missiles in Plane Crazy, although it does have a distinct look to it. Um, some missiles are like 5x5s, five five this is actually a 3x3, three three, which will come in useful for you people building boats. Um, but yeah, I guess we should just get started into this tutorial. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is place down a rocket engine like this, with the thrust weight placed down. You can place it on the ground like this if you want, doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, and it should look like this. Alright, now you want to set your accelerate keys to anything, alright? This works, it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, and then you want to get some explosive blocks in particular. Alright, and place those down in a line of four. So, one, two, three, four, right on top of your rocket engine. With these explosive blocks, you can just leave the settings as they are if you don't want to mess with anything. And you can just skip this part. Or if you're building a boat, I'd recommend setting these settings to... Uh, ignore self arm on key so that you can arm it when you disconnect the bomb from the boat That's just a little idea for you boat people. Um, but if you don't care, all right, just leave it as it is Your slow key being F or really whatever you prefer um, And then what I want you to do is I want you to grab some delta wing 1x2s You see these all right, and I want you to place it like so all right So it's like in a little rocket format almost so that one, the top of the delta wing is touching the explosive, and the bottom of the delta wing is touching the rocket engine. Uh, this is what it should look like. All right, and then after you've placed those four, what I want you to do, and this is the hard part, all right? Go into motors, so I'm going to this little settings tab, go into motors, and get a motor two. Uh, and I want you to place it like this, so it kind of forms this kind of X shape almost. All right, they're in line, and they're right at the top on the last explosive block. All right, and the flat part should be outwards. It should not be touching this explosive block. If it's touching this explosive block, this dis specific design will not work, all right? It must, the thin part must be touching the explosive block. That is pretty critical. Uh, and then what I want you to do is go into the settings or select an item and select these and th make it so that this, don't touch anything down here, just set the speed up to 50, all right? That's a pretty good speed. Uh, and I want you to put that and plug that into each one of these other motors so that they're all set to speed at 50 with no other differences, all right? The max torque, the max angle, none of these settings, you don't need to change anything, all right? These really don't matter if you don't set it to servo. Uh, and then what I want you to do is grab a delta wing one by one. You see this right here? Now this is kind of the important part, all right? Uh, you wanna place it like this, all right? Place it so that the, the biggest part is facing away from the missile, like this. If you place it the other way around, this design will not work. It will attach to the camera and it just, it, it will break. Um, but if you place it like this, this should all line up and work perfectly. And then what you want to place to finish it off is a camera pointed upwards. The lens is pointed upwards. Now if you want to change the settings for this camera, just select it. Select a block, configure it, and just, you know, set it to whatever. I'm gonna set it to the accelerate key on my missile so that when I press my missile to accelerate, it'll immediately bring me into my camera. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so this is pretty much part two of this tutorial. Uh, you've built the missile now, and now you wanna know how to control it, all right? So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get some disconnectors. Um, you don't need these if you're putting on your boat. You can do that yourself. But if you're putting it on land, I would recommend putting some disconnectors like so, all right? So that they are on the bottom of each delta wing and the thin part is face downwards. That's kind of important, um, but yeah. And then what you wanna do is set the disconnect key to whatever your accelerate key is on your rocket engine. So in my case, it would be W. So I set that for each disconnector like so. And this is just so that it doesn't fall over when you try and launch it immediately. Uh, there are many ways to do this. This part obviously isn't necessary. Uh, but I just like to do it if you're launching off of land, because uh, it's a lot more simple. And then what I want you to do is just start your build. And like so, your missile should move around when you move your mouse or your view button. It might fall over or tip over, but that's fine. Um, we don't really need it to stand still on land. 
All right, so next what we're gonna do is just hit our accelerate key to launch. Uh, now it might tip a little bit, but it should straighten out eventually. And as you can see, it is perfectly balanced and goes exactly where my mouse is. So my mouse is over here, it's just gonna spin it fully like this, like up, um, pretty straightforward stuff. All right, so this is actually quite easy to control. Uh, it's not too hard at all to show you just how easy it is to control. You, I can like thread this needle pretty, pretty easily and pretty confidently. Um, and you know, nothing, none of my stuff gets chopped off. Um, but yeah, that's how you control it. Now, if you want to explode it, obviously you're going to hit the F key, uh, to, which is what your explosive blocks are set to. Obviously, it doesn't have to be F, it can be anything you want, but in my case, it is F. I'll explode it right over myself just to show you how it works. Um, but boom, like so. And as you can see, the explosive particle is right there. Now, when you explode it, obviously you're going to want to go out of your camera, so hit whatever button it is to set your camera again, and it'll go out. And as you can see, it exploded, you know, all the parts are everywhere. Um, but it will do quite a lot of damage to any nearby build, so it's quite useful. Uh, but other than that, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more playing crazy stuff. Uh, and yeah, see you next one. Peace out, and bye.